Hello my glitter bugs! Welcome to another video. So I decided that it was time to do a room slash studio tour. Um, I haven't done one of these yet and since I'm almost basically kind of organized, <laughs> I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys kind of my workspace and also where I keep all my hundreds and hundreds of squishmallows. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a little studio slash office slash squishmallow room tour. I hope you enjoy it. So right now I am sitting at my desk. I have my cute little gaming chair. I keep most of my big feet and Yeti Squishmallows right behind me. I'll show you a better view of this in just a few minutes. Um, the only Bigfoots and Yetis that I don't have here are the ones that are too big to fit in this area. So um, they are actually over there and I will show you those in a little bit. Hopefully this all works out. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to record on this lavalier mic, which I've never done before. So this could be a total disaster, but yeah, let's go ahead and start the room tour and I hope you enjoy it. So please ignore all of the wires. Um, yeah, I'm not the best at that, but here's my cute little keyboard. I love this keyboard. I honestly don't remember where I got it, but it's so cute, I love it. And then right there, I have my cute little Eilic robots. Let's go ahead and turn those on. Oh, he needs a battery. These guys can actually be kind of annoying, so I don't always have them on. <laughs> but you can like pat them on the head. And they'll actually fight with each other, which is kind of funny sometimes. Yeah. So anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn them off because otherwise we'll hear them throughout this whole video. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go to sleep. And they're going to sleep. <laughs> and they also need to be charged. So, yeah. So I have my laptop right there, and then I have a big monitor. So this is where I do all of my editing and all the fun stuff like that. I'm currently charging some GoPro batteries um, and some microphones. I have a lot of things charging. I have my one of my switches over here. I have my cute little um, Divoom Ditto with a Halloween jack-o'-lantern on it right now. I'll switch that out for something Thanksgiving or fall after Halloween is done. Some switch accessories under there. Then I have my other dive boom. I think it's called a pixel something. I'm so bad at remembering names of stuff. So anyway, they're fun because you can change them up and have them display different things. They're actually Bluetooth speakers as well. So that's fun. Both of them are, but I just use them as like display. Here I have my cute little iPad which has a whole bunch of Squishmallow stickers on it, which I think is cute. I think it's a iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Um, it's not a little one and it's a little bit bulky to carry around, but I love it. And here I have a cute little keyboard. Um, it looks kind of like a, like a typewriter. So I love this keyboard and actually use this to type on my iPad sometimes. So that's fun. I love Bigfoot, so like actual real Bigfoot. So there is one of my Bigfoot um, little statues and he's carrying a little gnome, which I think is adorable. And then I have another one right there. He's kind of hiding in a, in like a Halloween box, <laughs> which is kind of random, but yeah. My mom loved ladybugs, so I have a little ladybug there. Over here, you can see my filming area, but I'll show you that in a little bit, as well as the squishmallows that are over there. So here are the Bigfoots and Yetis that are behind me at my desk. So all the little cuties there, there's some Yetis at the bottom, um, more up here. And then I have some random Harry Potter squishmallows right there, kind of on top of some of the bigger ones. Uh, poor Benny down there. He's uh, he's kind of the bottom of the totem pole, I guess. And then at the top there between Eden and Zozo is my little teddy bear. This was my first toy and his name is Boo Boo Bear. And yeah, he looks a little scary, but I love him to death. He was actually made by nuns, which is a you know, fun fact. Um, I know it's kind of random, but he was made by nuns in Harvard, Massachusetts. And I got him in Harvard Square. So yeah, I've had Boo Boo since I was like, I don't know, six months old, and he shows it, but I love him, and he gets a place of honor between Eden and Zozo. 
here's kind of a overview of my working area, my chair, all that good stuff. And then in front of my desk, I kind of have like a staging area dumping ground. This is not the most well-organized area, but it is very functional for me. I have lights everywhere. Like I have my GoPro equipment, which I'm like trying to figure out how to use because I've never really used it. I should, cause you know, I bought it, but I don't know what to do with it. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. Um, so then I have all kinds of GoPro accessories. And then this whole case is GoPro accessories as well. And then over around here, I have like some stuff I need to unbox. I need to unbox this. Um, that stuff I need to unbox. I have like a green screen, some leather to do some leather stitching with. Just, this is all basically stuff that I use when I'm filming. I have one of my cameras here. I have my Zoom H6 microphone, um, which is my main microphone. God, this is such a mess. Here's one of my Blue Yeti microphones. I have a lot of microphones. So Blue Yeti, I have this funny looking, it's called SR3D. It's a microphone with ears on either end. So I use that for ASMR videos. So I love it. <laughs> Over here, I have my dummy head microphone. So again, it's a microphone and it has like ears on either side of it. So you can use it for binaural ASMR videos. Yeah, I need to clean this area up for sure. But yeah, I have a lot of microphones. And then there's just more stuff that I need to unbox. So they're cute little, um, I got these for Halloween. They're little like bottles, like medicine bottles, but they're so little. So I'm not sure what to do with them. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, so here's some more lighting, even more lighting. And this is my main filming area. So I have the overhead rig, the background with the Halloween lights right now. Um, there's a big table here. Uh, I have a tripod. Um, you can see some more lighting over there. Over here beside it, I have like another tripod and this is something I use when I'm doing ASMR eating eating videos. So check out Joey ASMR if you want to see that. I love my purple zebra chair. It's my favorite chair. Here's just a closer look at the overhead rig. Sometimes I hook my, my camera on here. Sometimes the microphones go on this thing. Um, I have my headphones. Oh, and then I have even more microphones. I have my Rode microphones on either side of me if I sit here. Um, and that way I could do some more binaural ASMR stuff. So lots of ASMR stuff here. Oh, and then there's another Yeti microphone. I use that one for streaming and video editing, doing voiceover stuff like that. And then you can see my Bigfoots and Yetis again. And on the side of my Bigfoots and Yetis, I have a lot of my clips. So there's a little view of those. And there's my office area again. So when I'm sitting here filming, that's kind of the view I have. Um, there's usually a camera in front of me though. But yeah, I get to see all my cuties, which we'll see in a second, so don't peek there. <laughs> okay, so let's start the Squishmallow part of the tour. So as you walk in the door, you start with all of my Wendy's. So the Wendy's are on the shelf. I have a few, but not a ton. So I have the Flower Belly Wendy, like the big 16, I think she's a 16 inch Wendy. And then I have some more Wendy's and then you'll see some random like squishy items <laughs> hanging out with the Squishmallows. So I don't even know. I didn't know where to put this. It's like a veggie tail guy, I, I think. It's like a pickle or something. I don't know. I put him there because he was green. Then I have some rainbow belly Wendy's. Then some more Wendy's. I have, I have the cute tie-dye pink Wendy here. Here's some more Wendy's. So this one's an eight inch and this one is a seven inch. Then I have Wendy with the red eyes. And then I have a Wendy stackable and another flower belly Wendy under here um, with the cute little eyelashes. And then we get into other frogs. So there's a couple down there. My frog with the um yang sign, yin yang sign is there. And then we move over to another frog shelf. I have Adabelle up there, Doxel. I can't remember his name. <laughs> Let me know if you know his name. Um, then I have my Felipe or Philippe. I love him so much and I have a little squish fill of him as well. And then we have Fenra <laughs> and Ferdy. She's adorable. And I'm not going to go over all of them because it would take forever if I did, but just there are more frogs. 
Let me go all the way down to the floor. So got a couple Fritzes and then a little Lonina. Lonina, come on, focus Lonina. There you go. Basically the frogs are over there. Then I have a row of Yetis and Bigfoots that I couldn't fit by my desk. So we have Josephine, Haley, Brina, Ever, a Joelle, Big Diane, a Big Evita, and then Dobrilla back there, and then an Amleth that I all couldn't, I couldn't fit any of them over by my others. And we'll get to those guys in a second. And then underneath the Big Bigfoots, Big Bigfoots <laughs> and Yetis, um, I start my Hello Kitty Sanrio area. So here's a Hello Kitty and then like a little Hello Kitty squishy. <laughs> And then I don't know why this random pancake is there, but, and then I have the, the Pusheen Squishy. Obviously I use this one a lot cause it's all starting to chip. Cinema roll. There's some bum bums scattered in here. We have Gudetama, more Hello Kitty, some Bats Maroos. Yeah, I'm not sure how to go about this. So let me just show you. Here are all of the Hello Kitty Squish fellows. <laughs> and then they go down there and then there's some here down here and then yeah those aren't those aren't so i'm sure you've seen all these before there's karopi here's a couple bum bums some more bum bums this little it's like a night light but i don't really use it i got it on timu and there's also a little cinema roll night light and then i have some pokemon so pikachu's back there behind the bum bums we have Togepi, Snorlax, and Gengar's behind some of the Halloween squish there. <laughs> and here I have Jack the Black Cat and my Jasmanian, obviously nicely tucked away in a bag to protect them. I actually sold my JSK to a friend, so I don't know if I'm going to buy another one. Um, JSK is really expensive and maybe if I find a really good deal, but I don't think I need him. But I love Jack. He's definitely one of my favorites. Then we move on to some cows. So I have the Connors and the Ronnies kind of right there. Um, and then below them we go into like some more Ronnies. Then we have Evangelica, a little Patty. This is Caden. Caden's back there. And then I have some Balanas back there kind of behind these random Wades, which yeah so this was all organized and i kind of need to reorganize it after my halloween stuff i do love macarons so i have all my macarons kind of smooshed in to this area um they do need to find a better home and then i have all of my umbertos and Rizuls right there then i have some of the black light squish basically black light halloween stuff is on the bottom here so uh black cats at the bottom so we have like the bats, black cats, down here, there's like some pumpkins, and then here's some Halloween, I got Hocus Pocus and some other witches there, um, my autos and Aldrin's. Some more Halloween here, I got a smushed pumpkin, a little ghost back there, the Minnie and Mickey's, some more Halloween there, and some bats, the monster, some candy corn. I have my Junies, um, some of the fall Squishmallows from the Harvest Collection, um, another Junie and some other yellow Squish because, I don't know, I just decided to put them there. <laughs> and then some lambs and sheep and I think a llama too and then a random Halloween one. So yeah, that is basically everything on this wall and I'm taking this from sitting on the floor so yeah. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. Yeah, so that's that. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the unorganized area. So I have a bunch of random ones up here that I just didn't have room to put them with where they belong. So there's a big patty, my Alexi. Conway's just kind of sitting up there. Um, there's Bimby, he hasn't found a home yet, not a permanent home. Reshma, Tulik, my big fuzzy Connor and my big Bellana with the flower crown. So they're all up there on the top. Um, and then underneath them, well, I have some random like capsules just kind of hanging out. Probably should do something with them. Um, but I have like the burrito back there. 
My Stacy's hiding back there. I have the cute little Dottie right here. And then I have some of my Halloween Squishmallows that I just unboxed that didn't fit down there anywhere. I have the Nightmare Before Christmas ones up here, kind of just stuck away there. Uh, and oh, my poor Blossom is back here. See, I, this is why I need to redo these, because some of them are just squished. Um, I have my Grogu's right there. I have my, my Hans with the golden details kind of scrunched under there, and my golden Hans scrunched right here, and my regular Hans scrunched right there. Then I have some random squishums, some other just cute ones that I didn't know where to put. I have my big pineapple. These are just random ones that I just don't know what to do with, basically. Cute Harrison, Maui. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know what to do with these. I need to take down this whole shelf and just redo them somehow. Maybe that'll be my next video. And let me know how I should organize these. I don't want to move those necessarily, but I need to figure out what to do with this wall. But we're not done with this wall yet, so. This little section, we have like black ones and gray ones, and they're just random. I have like my Gordon. Tracy's just stuck in there. A random mushroom, random dragon, ladybug, two of the scorpions, Samantha, Samantha, whatever she's called. This was kind of the blue area. It kind of got all messed up. There's like Dory, <laughs> cute little Loon the Loch Ness monster, Babs, Giles, just all the blue ones, the cute little horse back there. All the bluish teal ones kind of went here. I need to organize them again, obviously, the sky. And then down here were all my cats, but I moved some of my black cats over to there. So these are the cats that I have on the shelf right now. They're just random cats. There's Felton. There's a Cam, the cute little Roseanne. And then these two shelves are kind of like food and orangey reds. <laughs> They started out as food and then they kind of morphed into, well, I have to put this random Nemo here because I don't know where else to put him and he kind of matches the colors. So yeah, so the squids ended up on the food shelf. This axolotl ended up on the food shelf. This, well, the mango's food, the carrot's food. Um, and then back there is a little coffee cup, a couple of watermelons and strawberries back there. Here's a dash of the dumplings smooshed in there. And then I have the s'mores, the cookie, Carl the cheeseburger, Maya, the cute little sandwich, <laughs> um, the cute little gingerbread, the pumpkin pie, Chanel's back there, and then the cute little cheesecake, the strawberry cheesecakes. Yeah, that's that. This is like mushroom slash Malcolm. So there's a few Malcolms there. And here's my newest little Malcolm with bat costume or devil costume. I guess it's bat, bat costume. I also have a larger Pikachu there and then and then Sydney the mushrooms back there. Pink ladybug, the Stacy, a couple axolotls, got Monica and Vivi, and then Lay the watermelon stingrays kind of just randomly there. This was kind of the purple shelf. Um, I guess it kind of is still the purple shelf, but they're just all disorganized. I feel bad for them. So I have another Stacy, Popolina the Boba, Bubbles the Bunny is back there. There are two Dachshunds back there. Here's Pammy the Pig and Jackie, the Tulip, and cute little Violet. See, this is such a mess. And Colleen. <laughs> See what I'm dealing with? This is what I'm dealing with. I want to have cute little, I forgot her name or his name. I have the Lydia the Fuzzamello, Fanya the Owl is back there, <laughs> and then this cute little Aziza, the Stingray, I think, yeah. And then underneath these guys, I kind of have the pink area, just some random ones, like we have C Cinnamon the Drink Thing, Mayel's here, cute little Gnome, there's Yancy the Gnome, the adorable little water bug Mooney. Zuzana, the planet, and Archie, the Easter egg, and the cotton candy. And then more pink ones over here, Della, Cosmina, the crab. And there's Legacy the bunny, and the cotton candy behind her, and there's a strawberry milk back there. And <laughs> here's Sylvina, the snail, I think, and Soraya, the cheetah corn, I think. Um, there's an Amy back there. There's a couple random lions back here, like Leonard the baby lion, and I forgot that one's name back there, the blue and purple one. And then another crab. See, I, I feel bad for the ones that you can't see. And then I kind of have like a brown area. 
like the brown squishmallows. So I have, there's Francis, there's the avocado toast, there's Ballas, I think she's a French bulldog or he's a French bulldog. I got an Avery hiding back there. There's another avocado toast with egg. I got the little ginger, Jiri the ginger. There's a Gary, whoops, we're falling. There's Regina the corgi, Marissa the dinosaur, and cute Doug the dog, and then Edward the patriotic eagle. I have the armadillo, I can't remember his name. So that's kind of what's going on on these shelves. So this is my next project is organizing all of these. I mean, they're kind of organized by color, like a little bit, but there's gotta be a better way, right? And then I need to do it so that I have actual places for some of these cuties up here. Basically that is my entire Squishmallow collection. All right guys, so I hope that wasn't too chaotic. It felt chaotic to me. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my Squishmallows. I think I showed you most of them. Um, but yeah, if you have any ideas on how to organize that one area over there with all the, the random stuff, I would love to know. Should I do it by color? Should I do it by type, like food and like aquatic creatures and things like that? Or should I do something completely different? Just don't know how to start. I'm one of those people that when I have a big project in front of me, I just kind of panic and freeze. So anyway, anyways, I think that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please, please click on the like button. It really helps me out in the YouTube universe. And if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. And if you want to be one of the first glitterbugs to know when I post a new video, click on the notification bell. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I love you all so much. And I will see you very, very, very soon. Goodbye, guys. Um, say goodbye, Zozo. Goodbye. Bye.